so many things that erupt in your lives, it's just, it's just, it's just a distraction. It's not the real battle. It's a distraction. There's a call on your life to be discipled and to disciple nations. And so much of the stuff that befalls us is a distraction from the enemy. It is spiritual military warfare against you. So number one, to divide your resources and attention so you can't fulfill goal number one and you're distracted by what you think is goal number two, which isn't a goal at all, it's just a diversion. Number two, distract you from the real battle, or whatever order you have those. And number three, to psych you into a belief that there's really no threat. Just crying wolf again. Just chicken little, yelling at the screen, the, the, the sky is falling. Things are going to continue as they always have. There really is no enemy. There really is no God. There's just bad karma. I got a life full of bad luck and hard breaks as my history. This is just another dose of poor old me about to happen. So you don't, you don't step out in faith. You don't pray about it. It's just, uh, just some religious thing. So I'm not going to be religious and even pray about it. it. It doesn't really matter. So you just try to ignore things that are happening. Maybe the reason that has become an issue is because God wants to awaken us. That we are actually beings that were born again to eat and drink of the commodity of faith. 